big one, folks. This is a big one. This is a big one right here. If I can hold him out there. Golly. Uh, first fish of the day. Big old fish. Woo-wee. I had trouble getting that fish out of there. Oh, my goodness. I thought he was bigger than this, but this is a great way <laughs> to break the ice right here. My goodness. Whew. Hard pulling rascal. If I hadn't had this type of tackle, and we're going to talk about that, I wouldn't have got that fish out of that tree. If y'all can see, that's a big, big tree right there. Let's get down here and get him. My goodness. I thought that fish was a lot bigger. This is a good bass right here. Come here, boy. Yeah. Look at there. That's a pretty fish. My, my, my. Well, folks, I, <laughs> Rocky's holding the camera right here. I'm down here with Rocky Drake in a big fish lake. It's a huge lake. And it's chock full of these and some a lot bigger but that fish right there i'll show you the bait i caught him on and you talking about hard to get him out of that tree if i hadn't had tackle like i've got right here i'd have never got him out of that tree that's a good fish right there what would that fish weigh rocky uh five five pounds beautiful fish let's let him go right here I'm going to revive him. Well, he's done biting on my finger and he's ready to go. Man, let's revive him a little bit. <laughs> there he goes. Woo! That was a strong fish. What I caught that fish on is a KVD uh, bull worm. Bull worm. That's a big, beefy bait, folks. Let me show you one of them. And I'm going to show you how we're fishing it right here. Look at there, what a big old worm. Big old worm. That's probably a half inch in diameter, which is huge. They're heavy, they're dense, full of salt, and they smell good. But really, this bait right here imitates, or this company, Strike King, actually copy the trick worm as you can see it's just a big trick worm that's all it is made by zoom these companies that do that when a bait catches fish and is is a uh, produces a lot of bass they'll copy it and call it something different and of course this one's made real big and i'll show you another bait that's similar to it and i'll show you what i'm talking about this is a magnum trick worm solid center black which is going to be my next option. It, it should be good in watercolor like this. Now, this is a big oversized trick worm. But you can see how much bigger that Strike King bait is. I mean, that's the reason why. I'm fishing for big fish. That's what we're fishing for. But this is a big fish bait too. And you can see the, the shape is exactly like this uh, Strike King bait. They copied Zoom, but that's okay. Now, what I'm using is a 5 alt EWG Extra Wide Gap Gamagatsu hook. Uh, I like to call them Gamagachi because normally when you set the hook, you got them. But anyway, this is the way I've been rigging the bait. Now, because I'm fishing timber, I want to hide this offset in the worm normally you want that offset to stick out but i'm going to show you something i'm not going to go center i'm going to go about two-thirds of the distance in like that now when i come out there at about a half inch you can see that the bend is gone there's very little that way to cook go over those branches and trees without snagging okay gauge it in other words flush that point up like that you can see the entry point stick it in square 
square. In other words, straight in like that. Okay, see how straight that is? And I'm just going to text pose it, barely skin a hook it like that. Now what I'm doing is I'm using a heavy, heavy line. This is 30 pound test frost braid uh, with a, a seven and a half foot. No, it's a seven foot medium heavy action cadence rod and a cadence reel. This is a 3000 size reel. Now, <clears throat> my knot, I'm going straight to braid, so my knot is a, a Palomar knot, which is the best when you connect straight to braid. You can't beat that, straight to braid. And what I've also done is I've took a magic marker, being this is frost, white, and about five feet up the line, I took a permanent magic marker and painted or colored the line black. They can't see that. I can't see that. Of course, this watercolor is so dingy, I don't believe it would make any difference, but still, it's a great way to hide straight braid from a fish. Whether it be in clear water, dingy water, it, it really doesn't matter. It works. All right. Let's try that again, see if we can't catch us a sure enough big one. If we can't, well, I'll take five pounders all day long. Let's catch another one. Rocky, you got one? Oh my, 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 my. We just got here, folks, and I've caught one. I'm fixing to show y'all. Y'all, excuse the camera work. Boy, I can pretty fish, Rocky. I didn't even have time to turn the camera on <laughs> or nothing. <laughs> I caught that one right there. Yeah, a lizard. Yeah, June that's bug just lizard. A lizard. zoom June bug lizard. That's a, that's a chunky fish right there. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Did he fight? Oh, no, I thought right out there, son. I don't like your at it, though. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Well, that's two big fish we've caught. There's boom, boom, like that. Yeah. I got my scales. You think we're going to weigh this one? Yeah, that fish right there weighs six or better. Four pounds, six ounces. Four or six. Yeah, it's just lean. And the reason is because they just come off they the bed. Now, if that fish would have been, let's say, February, that fish would have been six and a half pounds. Yeah. Or better. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. But they're going to just be big, lanky, and skinny right now. Yep. These spikes right here make it a little bit tough. It makes it a little tough. Let's go. There she goes. <laughs> Let's talk about what we're doing today. Now, Rocky, I, I just the time I got this camera set on this tripod, yeah. you caught one. That means something, folks. These fish are just now off bed they're hungry they're still uh, hanging around in this shallow water close to the bank and me and rocky's gonna take advantage of we, are, we are we're gonna stick a few fish and put them back yes, folks let's get back down here again let's slip back down here again let's try not to slip it is pretty tough right here <clears throat> straight up it wouldn't take much and i mean you'd hit the water that's all right though Okay, now I've got this thing weightless. These are dense, dense worms. I mean, you can see the salt coming out of that. They sink real quick. Let's look at this. Look at the action right here. See how quick that thing is sinking? This water ain't very deep. Now out in front of that tree, let's make a long cast out there. That might be three and a half feet of water might be right there now i've got this drag set tight because i'm actually fishing through a tree with this old heavy braid i mean i'm fixing to come into some limbs right here right over the top of the tree and that's where them big fish are they're right at the end of that and they might, we might catch another one right there. That <laughs> there was one there. And I'm just moving this bait, I mean, slow, picking it up, letting it fall back, just like you would a, a regular trick worm uh, if it was rigged weedless. But this is a big fish bait right here, I'm gonna tell y'all. Now this rod right here is stiff. It's stiff as it can be. 
but cadence rods are real light, lightweight. So it's sort of just right for this kind of fishing right here. There's a bite right there, folks. We got a bite. All right, y'all ready? There he is, another big one. Oh, my. My, my, my. Woo, I thought I had trouble getting him out of that tree, folks. Now, this ain't no giant fish, but it's a good one. If it wasn't for that 30-pound braid, I would have never achieved getting this fish out. My, my, my. Here, we'll just flip him on up here. He ain't too big. He's just about a three-pounder is all. <laughs> Look at there, beautiful, beautiful fish. All right, folks, let's let him go. Probably about two and a half pounds. He ain't quite three pounds. There he goes, that watercolor is real dingy. We've had a lot of rain and it's high. But boy, they some fish. I'm gonna keep trying right here. Yeah, let's try it again. Woo. Let's try it again. They must do. Hey, folks, look what a big old gar. Right there. Look at there. What a big gar. Y'all see that? You know, that ain't no long nose. That's a spotty gar. He's nosing down for it. I don't He's, know what I'm going to do with him. Well, we'll, we'll get him off. Uh, he, but, that, but that was a short nose gar. That's not a long nose. The best knot that you can... In my opinion, that you can tie when you're tying straight the braid is a Palomar knot. Tied right, this is a 100% knot. And what that means is it's, it's as strong as your line. And there's very few knots like that. Most knots is the weak link in your, in your line, but not a Palomar knot. That's why so many people tie it. All right, folks, let's let's do this. Look, I had to tie me another hook on. See, this is what I'm using right here. It's a 5-alt Gamakatsu. This is my favorite one for a big hook. The number is 58415. Uh, extra wide gap. Now, when I use Big Tackle, that's my favorite hook size for a worm that's a half inch in diameter, say. But what I did is I broke off <laughs> and uh, I had to retie me another hook. This is just a permanent black magic marker. And what I do is see how I'm using this, this white braid right here. So, and it don't matter if I'm using green, I'll go ahead and I'll put this black magic marker to it. You see, now this is proven, black is proven to be virtually invisible when it comes to bass seeing line. Now in watercolor, like I mentioned before, like this, it wouldn't make any difference. See, this water is pretty dingy, account of all the rain we've had. But still, I just, I've got to do it. And I'll do that up to around six, five or six feet. I just think when it comes to catching big bass, it's an advantage to, to do anything that you think might be an, an advantage, if that makes sense. So I'll just go ahead and walk the extra mile and do that. But let's rig him up. And you notice again, I'm hiding that offset. See the offset right there? I'm hiding it on in there. Now, a lot of people would say, why don't you just go ahead and use a straight worm hook? Well, uh, if I had some with me, I would. <laughs> in a situation where you're actually fishing it in, in this heavy timber like this. But I don't have any straight ones with me, folks. That would be the best option, really. These old big baits like this, you know, is they're easy to fish. I don't fish them any different than I would say a, a regular trick worm, weightless. Same way. It's just that 
usually, not always, but usually when you do get bit, it's going to be a bigger fish. I mean, it's a big bait. I do believe, for the most part, not always, but for the most part, big bait, big fish. One tree can hold several bass. Is it a big and rocky? Is it? Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Hey, man. Whoa. Let me get... Oh my goodness. Whoa. 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 Did you lose him? Wait, let me help you. Oh, that's a good one right there. Oh my. Well, yeah, let me get down here and help you. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. You got him right there? Okay. This is right here. We'll do it like that. We had to. Woo, look at there. Hold your fish right there. They. That's a good chunky fish. It is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they biting, Richard. They're biting. Yes, sir. That scared me. Yeah, I thought it was bigger than that when it took off, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, they always feel bigger. They do. What kind of hook is that? I don't know. It's kind of cool looking, though. There's a name for them. Oh, I see my hooks that old boy give us. Yeah. Down there at the... Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. They... Well, Rocky, you done it once again. Well, that's where I caught the other one a while ago. So yeah. Know. Well, don't slip in there. I, I nearly fell a while ago. There you go. Good deal. They biting. I want you to catch one. I want you to catch one that weighs 15 pounds, 8 ounces. Okay. Hey, look, folks. Y'all see that? Let me, let me put it on this... That's some sort of a scat. And I don't know what it was, really, but it stinks. Let's go catch another one. There he is. Golly. There's a good one right there, folks. Let me get over here. I have, sorry about that. I had to move. He was heading straight back into that top. Let's let loosen up on that drag just a little. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> Woo wee. That's a nice fish right there, folks. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Probably a good, probably a six pounder. Let's get down here. Ah, five, yeah, about a six pounder, I think. Rocky's gonna check him out right here. Yeah, that's a good long fish right there. <laughs> Did you see how close, folks, that fish hit real close. Did you see that? Right by the bank. Have you got your bubble scale? Yeah, I got them. Sure do. We'll see what this fish weighs right here. He ain't. Now, if that fish, like I said, if it was in February, folks, that fish right there, no doubt would be eight pounds, maybe. But right now, he might be. Oh, five and a half or six, probably. Let's see. It'll lock in. You hit it right on the money. Five, eight, yeah. But that's just because they come off a of bed. Yeah. So that fish would be probably two pound heavier. So it'd be close to eight pounder. Nah. Big old pretty fish. Let's let him go. Let's let her go. They're at their lightest right now. All right. There she goes. Nothing like it, folks. But I'm going to show y'all exactly that fish hit. Right there. That close to the bank. 
ain't that something that water's probably not 16 inches deep right there at the most yeah we had to <laughs> i had to change to a lizard right here this is a 10 inch lizard and i tore the two usually i'll take the head off and the two front feet off and that's just a black lizard that's what i had to change to let's try that again one sixteenth of an ounce bullet weight and that's what we're doing right now we're gonna see if we can't catch our another one a little rocky he's look he's rigging him <laughs> one up right now <laughs> you want a 10 inch or are you going yeah okay we're gonna walk on around here See if we can do that again. That's fun. Them fish are strong in here. They are stout. They are. There he is. Hey, hey. Woo! Wait a minute, Rocky. Is it a good one? Hey, it's a good one. It's a big one. Hey, man. Oh Woo. Gosh. Woo. Hey, dead lame. Folks, I can't help it that Adrilogen is kicking up. The Adrilogen is kicking up. Look at our water fish. I'll get him. Look how fat that fish that's is. That one there now. We ain't had airy fish. No. Not nary. That's no. that fat, right? What's the deal with that? I don't know. He's is that one ain't spawned yet? I don't know if they'll spawn at the same time or not. Really well, they don't. don't. They really but don't. But this one here, look. That's a chunk, no, man. Right there's either full of gizzard shad or full of eggs. I would right say there. gizzard shad. That fish is heavy. Yeah, fish heavy. Heavy. Fill up. Right? Look yonder. They, dang Rocky, we've had a ball out here this evening. Yes, sir. And and we've got another bank. Yes. Way over yonder way to fish, and my arm's already hurting from setting hook on these fish. Let's see. I believe that fish right there push by. It will. That's a healthy. Thank you. Look at there. Well, yeah. I've enjoyed this, folks. There ain't nothing like coming out here. Another thing is, <laughs> with your friends, you once you live one day, you can't repeat that day again. You only get one chance for that day, and that's it. <laughs> I want y'all to look. Rocky won't quit fishing, folks. What you got, Rocky? You got a bluegill? Yeah, a little bluegill. On the Keystone Mentor. Yeah. He's a Keystone Mentor, man. Catches a lot of fish with it, but... You know, two baits worked today, and that was an 8-inch black and red flat lizard and the Strike King bait. And that, that was pretty much, we hadn't been fishing very long, but the lizard caught the big fish for me. And uh, that's no surprise. A lizard has been, for years, one of the best baits for big fish that you can possibly get. I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. By the way, check out Rocky Drake Outdoors. He's doing good with his YouTube channel, folks. He's putting a lot of work into it. Great channel. He's a great friend. And I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the comments. Thank y'all for all you do. Hey. And to remember, go fishing when you can, because it's good for you.